there. Welcome back to my Country Craft Corner. How in the world are you guys doing today? So good to see you again. Thank you guys so much for stopping by to see what I'm up to. And boy, oh boy, have we been busy here in the last couple of days. Chris has been more busy than I have been, <laughs> to be honest with you. Uh, he repainted a living room. Yay! And he used that beautiful grayish color that we picked up the other day. I'm fixing to go in there and show you around and you'll see a, a lampshade sitting on the couch right there. You can probably see it right there. And I'm going to tell you a little story about that when I get behind the camera. Uh, but I am just want to come and say hey to you guys in front of the camera here and just tell you how thrilled I am. And to kind of explain a little bit about why I chose this color this grayish color. As you guys know, this part of our home, I've decided to decorate a kind of in more light and airy colors. Still toward the country themed decor, but with grays and creams and silvers and so on. And then that color, and, you, and even the rugs, as you see, are kind of gray, but they do have khaki running through it. I'll try to take you closer down to those when I get behind the camera too and show you that there's not there they basically are gray but they also have beiges and creams running through them as well and the rugs in the family room are of the same design we went to our basic or local uh, carpet store and chose a pretty high-end piece of carpet they told us it had to be and and gave them the measurements the exact measurements that we need we came and we measured exactly what we need and they bound the edges for us. And these are very nice, heavy pieces of carpet that have lasted four years easily and hopefully will last for many, many, many more years. And that's with three huge dogs walking around on them, along with a couple of big people too. <laughs> and everybody else who comes walking through here, you know. So that, that was one of the best decisions that we could have made, excuse me, when building this house was to do that with, this, with these carpets. It really has made a difference. But anyway, I wanted a color in this grayish that would go with the grays and would go with the beiges. And I was skeptical. I have to be honest with you guys and say, I was skeptical. Everybody kept saying, oh, get grays, you know, check out the grays and blah, blah, blah. And I was like, eh, I don't know. How can there be a paint that's going to match with grays, which are cool colors kind of, and beiges, which are more warm? I just don't know how that's going to work. Well, let me tell you, it's working. It's working beautifully. As I said, the only thing that didn't work was that lampshade and that out of everything else in that room, all the furniture matches, everything else, the, the carpet matches, everything else is beautiful in there with it, except for that one lampshade. So we did stop at Lowe's and I picked up a new lampshade that I just put on there. So I'll take you over there in just a second. But I did want to explain that if you want, I want a, wanted a neutral color that I could take throughout this house, not just in these two rooms, but I also want to take it out eventually, Lord willing, out into the family room, kitchen, eating area, kitchen and eating area, and so on. I wanted something that I could take throughout because there's really not a place down here, and even when you look upstairs, that you can't see these rooms. These rooms or the family room, you know, this house is very open. This wall and is pretty much the only thing that's the staircase that runs right up this wall here that separates the, the front from the back of the house, you know. So, I needed something that I could take throughout. Plus, I didn't want these rooms to be a, one color and those rooms to be another. I just didn't want to have a look like that. I, You probably also, too, will not ever see me put a color like a red or a green or a blue or yellow or anything like that on any, like one wall or any walls throughout the house. I just, I won't do that. I want my balls to be neutral and I want to accent with color in my accent pieces, my wreaths, my table decor, tablecloths, runners on the tables, you know, picture frames, that kind of thing. You can switch out so many colors so easily if your walls are neutral. I don't want a wall that's gonna pigeonhole me into the blue hue or into the red hue or into, a, you know what I mean? I want a neutral color that will go with anything 
So if I don't want to use this green color, as you see, that I use all see the pillows there, that I as my pop of color in here right now, well, next year I might get a wild hair and figure out that I want, you know, a, a bright red to be my pop of color. That's easily enough done. Just switch out the pillows, you know, and, and do my lanterns differently and make another wreath. And then I can switch everything out and I'll have red accent pieces. You know what I mean? See what I'm saying? I, don't, I want my walls to go with whatever I choose to put in these rooms throughout this, especially this level of the house. And even in the bedrooms, I don't really want to be pitching. As you, you've seen, I have my purple bedroom, the happy bedroom, and the turquoise bedroom. But I don't have them painted those colors. Why I've chosen to name them, oh, the happy room is a, is a quite an array of colors. If you haven't seen it, there's oranges and reds and yellows in that room. And then the turquoise room is obviously turquoise and khakis. And the purple room is obviously purples and grays. I haven't put a color on the wall up there. And will not, probably, you guys. If I put a color, it'll be this grayish because this grayish will go with all three of those rooms beautifully. So next up, we're going to start working on this dining room and I'll walk you around here too. We haven't, we're going to be doing above the chair rail. We haven't decided exactly what we're doing below it yet. We need to be thinking about that. Chris, uh, we found some panels of wainscoting and Chris didn't like it. He didn't like the material. He didn't think it was, he thought it wasn't wouldn't look right in here. So I think he is actually going to make picture frame uh, wainscoting for in here. And we're gonna probably paint the lower, either a lighter color than the grayish in the same palette and do the picture frame in white. And then, you know, of course the chair railing is white and the crown molding is white. So that would really pop nicely. So I think that's probably what we'll do. It's what I've kind of decided on in my head. I just need to kind of talk him into the color on the, it's either going to be solid white or it's going to be a lighter color of the grayish on the bottom with the picture frame mold. Haven't figured it out yet. But anyway, I'll show you this room and I'm going to get, pick up my camera and show you that room. And you guys, I have yammered for seven minutes already for crying out loud. I thought this would be a quick, quick, quick video and I'm just, yip, 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 yip. <laughs> I feel like y'all are going to answer me back, you know? Oh, sorry. Anyway, all right. I'll be right back in just a second behind the camera and I'll walk you around in there. Okie dokie, here we are. <laughs> and let's see, where can I really show you a nice contrast between the molding and the grayish color? Check it out. Big fat chair around, or crown molding up there. And as you can see, it goes very nicely with my khaki colored curtains and with the darker colored frames and with these paisley chairs which also blends nicely with the gray carpeting which as you can see also has a beige and cream running in it check out the bay window it pops too oh my goodness you couldn't see this molding before, you guys. You couldn't see it. <laughs> the guy that we, uh, where we go to lunch on Fridays, he also does uh, housework and stuff, but he's a contractor. He says, if you painted that ceiling like a little lighter color, then the, and I, it would really make that molding pop even more. And we're like, oh my goodness. Chris doesn't like to paint ceilings, though. So I doubt we're going to do that. So... But I'm just thrilled that you could really, oh, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. And you can see that the green pairs nicely, that the couch and the, and the kind of the khaki color couch goes beautifully with it. The floors go beautifully with it. Excuse me, kind of dirt peck speck there on the floor. I don't know what that is. Of course, this is my grandmother's. You all have seen my home tours, so if you haven't, that's my grandmother's little table. It used to be hers, and it was passed down to my mom and then to me. Very special little piece there. This whole top lifts off of it. That is actually underneath the glass. And then this secretary was also my grandma's that went through my mom, who was there in that picture on the one in May. To me. So, but here's the, the, uh, <laughs> actually this is a little bigger than what I ended up putting on this. 
This is what I bought today from Lowe's. And this mm, is what was on there before. Can you see that? See, that does not make my eyes happy at all. <laughs> that does. It's okay. So, now I'm going to turn to flip on all the lights so you guys can see everything. more maybe there we go let me get this out of here Ooh. and I didn't put that on there very nicely did I here let me fix things while I'm doing my video here and give you the all over look. Very, 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 very happy with it. And eventually the foil will be done. But as you can see, <laughs> I'm not sure how easily that's going to be to get accomplished. And it goes, you could, you go over here, put this lampshade down. You can see that that wall, there's the foyer over there. And then this whole wall would need to be painted. And then if that wall's painted, then that means I probably would want this wall painted, which means that I'd probably want that monstrosity painted. But we do have the big molding up there, too, see? All the way around. Uh, like I said, we'd need scaffolding in here. But that grayish also matches the backsplash and the countertops. We made sure that it matched everywhere throughout. So... Up on my lights here. I haven't turned my lights on yet today. There we go. <laughs> All right. And then after I'm done videoing, Chris is patiently waiting for me to video, we are going to move into here and move that table and chairs out and set it here on the foyer rug and then move everything in to the center of the room. Probably pull that carpeting out of there. And move everything to the center of the room. I'll take some pictures as we go through it. Uh, and then I'll come back next week. Hopefully someday next week. And show you this. At least the upper part done. And then let you know if we figured out anything else for below the chair railing. Excuse my little grab bag basket there with the fall stuff that I've bought that goes downstairs for next year. But anyway, that's it, you guys. I'm painted, or at least the living room is. Warmed that room right up. Not that it wasn't warm, it was, but the painting really helped to warm it up and help that molding just pop. So I'm thrilled with it. But that's it for this week, you guys. I hope that everyone has a wonderful weekend and that all is well with everybody, that everybody's health is kind of holding steady and going the way you want it to go. And I hope you have big plans, or if you don't, I, have you, I hope you have a nice relaxing weekend and I will catch you at some point next week, I feel sure. So I will just say, until next time, y'all take good care. Bye-bye.